Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope things are well in your world, wherever you are. I wanted to do a little follow-up on that dream oracle message that I shared, I think last month, or maybe it was in May sometime, and it was around this alien message that was shared with me. And essentially that message in a nutshell was that we all have this universal wisdom within ourselves and knowing and trusting that we have that. And and I said I would do a follow-up video on perhaps getting insights on around how we can actually activate and tap into that subconscious universal wisdom and unlock it within ourselves. And so it's something that I've been going into the dream world and asking. And I, I'm sorry, I actually did kind of forget about it for a while, so that's why this has taken me a while to like post this follow-up video. Um, but yes, so I've been asking lately about how do we actually access that for ourselves? Like it's great that this universal wisdom is encoded in us, but if we can't access it, then, you know, it's kind of irrelevant if we have it or not. And so in my dreams, the last few nights, I've had this experience where I'm in my dreams and I am in an ocean and I'm floating on something and like something small, like it's not like a raft or anything, but it's like, I don't know, like a log or I don't even know what it is because it's dark and I'm just like floating there. And I'm with two other people in both of these dreams that I had and they felt like guides and they felt like support. So it wasn't scary. Um, but it also was like nighttime and I personally don't want to be floating on a log like with two people or by myself or whatever at night in the ocean. So there's still like that kind of feeling. But what's really interesting is in both of these dreams, I've fallen asleep and then go into other dreams. And that's a whole other kind of conversation around what that is in the dream world. Um, so I can talk about that another time, but what the message is in these particular dreams, because I had asked this question around like, how do we actually activate and access and tap into this universal wisdom that is within us? And what it really feels like, okay, so A, right now, there is this opportunity where we can really dive into our emotions and dive into um, that that space within ourselves, explore parts of ourselves that either we haven't explored for a while or never have explored or different aspects. So that might resonate for you as to what might be going on. Like last week was really cosmic energy intensive and I feel like there's a softness and there's this availability almost for us to more easily tap into our own depths and what also is coming up with this is tapping into that universal wisdom and so what spirit was sharing on how to actually tap into this is taking a nap and taking a nap and I wrote down actually um, like a little intention that you can set before you take this nap and if you don't have time to take a nap you can actually do this as like a bedtime intention dream intention in the evening and I'll write it into the description but this is what the intention that you can use is this nap will help me access and unlock the universal wisdom that resides in me by tuning into this universal wisdom I will be able to navigate my life with more joy and ease and so yeah I said nap because this is like a little extra thing that we can do so when we go to sleep we go to sleep because our soul needs to and there's things that our soul needs to do in the dream world while we're asleep and if you can take a nap and set this intention it will just be that much more focused on accessing it but like i said if you can't take a nap then that's totally okay and you can do this in your dreams at night i would just make sure that you have like enough time to sleep because i feel like with this one taking a little short burst of a nap 
with this intention will activate it a little bit more consciously than subconsciously like it would if you do it in your dreams at night. Does that make sense? Um, maybe I should explain why that is a bit more. When we nap, we, at least for me, what I've noticed is when I nap, I am more conscious in my nap than subconscious, like in my dreams at night. And so that's why if you use this intention while you're napping, it might be more helpful in consciously accessing those universal wisdoms. And you might not wake up, you're probably not actually gonna wake up and be like, oh, I know all these universal wisdoms now, but probably what's gonna happen is, like I said, with the second part of the intention is just being able to navigate your life with more joy and ease. So whatever you might be experiencing in your life, whether that's something that's emotionally challenging or just like challenges at work or challenges with relationships or what have you, um, you will just feel more grounded in navigating through those things so it's not like this big aha light bulb moment but just how you will move through your day-to-day -day will shift and it will be more grounded and you will just automatically move with more wisdom and more grace so that's why i say take the nap because it's just like yeah you're just you're just not as far into the dream world like if it's a spectrum and here's like conscious like wake this is full-blown deep sleep where you're not going to remember anything with a nap sometimes you go all the way here but usually you're just going to go kind of like here so that's what i'm hoping this makes sense so that's why i say if you can take a nap set some time for naps you know when i lived in europe there was like siestas in spain it's all about siestas i freaking love siestas and i think that we can use them to our advantage not just to like take a break during the day but it's to like really access this universal wisdom within yourself so before i ramble on too much i have some notes here let me see and make sure that if there's anything else that i wanted to share nope i think that's it so <laughs> i will put that intention in the description in the caption below so you can write that down and use that for your napping and use that to help you access this universal wisdom that is within you. And always, always, always remember to trust in your process and trust that your guides and your higher self work with you in the most perfect way. And trust that you know what you need to know and that you are tuning into what you need to tune into at every given moment. So don't feel like I'm not getting any insights or I don't know how to navigate this. You do. You absolutely do. And trust yourself, trust your process, trust your guides, trust your higher self that you are guiding you in this waking life to navigate and respond and do exactly what it is that you need to do in every moment. That is it. I'm going to stop before I keep rambling because I can totally ramble on forever. So anyway, sending you lots of love and that is it. <laughs> Bye.